RTMP server software is what allows you to take an incoming RTMP live video stream from an encoder and transmux it into a playback protocol like HLS for viewing. While there are media server services out there which can do this for you, using your own RTMP server software gives you both the freedom and control to modify and configure your setup as needed. Wiser Streaming Engine is the RTMP server of choice, easily customizable and number one in reliability. Wiser Streaming Engine runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac, although the latter does have reduced functionality. All the installers can be found on the downloads page of the Wowza Media Systems website, and you'll need to purchase a license for use. The install process is identical on all operating systems. Execute the installer, accept the license agreement, enter the license key, Create a username and password for Wowza Streaming Engine. Choose to have it start up manually versus automatically. Select where it should be installed, and then letting the install run. Other differences may be the need to run as an administrator, or if you have an old installation of Wowza Streaming Engine still in the system, which version you want to activate. Also, as I mentioned, the Mac version has several limitations, such as with transcoder capabilities, so I strongly recommend running on Windows or Linux with a static IP address. Without a static IP address, your server will not be able to connect for playback outside of your local network. For easy installation, you can find Wowza Streaming Engine on the AWS Marketplace for EC2, Microsoft Azure, Alibaba Cloud, Google Cloud Platform, and Rackspace. Once installed, use the IP address of the computer or your static IP address with port 8088. This will take you to the Engine Manager. You can skip the intro and just use the username and password you created during the install to sign in. Now, one of the first things you may want to do under Server is set up source authentication for security. By adding a source, you can ensure only streams you trust can connect. However, if you're not concerned or just streaming on a local network, you can always turn it off. That's done directly from the application. When creating your first application for your first live stream, you do have the option to set up edge servers as well as load balancing for better scaling. After all, many companies use Wiser Streaming Engine to create their own content delivery networks, but single server is probably where you want to get started, naming it appropriately without confusing spaces. With the application created, you'll want to make a few immediate changes. For example, if you know you'll only be using HLS playback, you can uncheck all the other playback types so processing power won't be wasted transmuxing. Also, if you want to bring down the latency from the normal 30 to 45 seconds to 9 to 12 seconds, check low latency stream. You can also auto record the streams, cross origin resource share, change the directory they'll be stored in, set up closed captions, and limit the number of viewers. When you're done making your changes, be sure to save. As I mentioned, you can also go to source security and then edit your settings for the RTMP sources so it's open and no authentication is required. Again, that's up to you and any changes will require you to restart. For those looking to scale with the CDN, this is done under stream targets. While there are several solutions available, Wazza does have their own CDN available for you to use. And if you have only a few viewers and, well, you're not ready to scale up, that's okay too. To start streaming, your encoder will ask for a server, stream key, and authentication. From sources live, you can get this and some quick options for specific hardware. We're going to skip the authentication since we've turned it off, and while you can choose the stream key name that you want, the server will be rtmp colon slash slash your IP address being static or local colon 1935 slash your application name. That's it. If it's properly connected, you'll see the live stream come through under incoming streams. You can select it and then test playback to view the stream. If HLS is the only playback option you have for the application, copy that URL and try playing it back on options that support HLS. If this is just on the local network, you'll need to use something like VLC Player to verify the stream is working. If you do have a static IP address, you can use commercial players like Theo Player to verify playback, although I'd advise you to set up a full account for both testing and implementation. Browse a streaming engine and running a live stream. 
For more assistance with live video streaming, you can always contact us at Wowza.